Hey guys, it's Master Jedi here for another Star Wars figure review. Uh, today I have a very figure that I'm just so excited about. So, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, yesterday, I had family over and my friend was telling me about how there's this great comic store in Tewksbury. And I'm like, okay, sounds pretty cool. And I, sent, I had a couple bucks to spend, so I'm like, oh, do it. Uh, so, me and my dad took a ride up there and he was right. There was a lot of Star Wars stuff and they were all $10. So, I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. And I was looking through the figures, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding. I honestly said in the store, in the store, you gotta be kidding me. And they had Darth Malak from the 30th anniversary collection. I was totally shocked. And right away, I just grabbed it and bought it. I had no questions asked. I just got it. Little pop-up, come on. So, start off, give you a little bit of packaging comes in. You can see, have a nice picture of Darth Malak up there. This is the bubble that comes in, since this is an older figure. It did come with the coin. Let's give you a little straight card back without the bubble. You have a nice picture of Darth Malak. 30th anniversary card from the back. I have a little backstory on Darth Malak. I apologize if you can't read this, but... You can pause it right there if you want to read it. Don't know how good that's going to come up, but uh, yeah. Other figures in the line. Uh, you have... I'm just gonna read them off and then you can look. Starting from the top left, you got Umpath Stay, McQuarrie, Darth Vader, Hermie Old, C3PO, and Celestius Crumb, Rarin Crabob, Yoda and Kaibuck, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Revan, Darth Malik, Pre Cyborg, Jerevis, and McQuarrie Hero, Starkiller. Let's see. Going from over there, all the way across. And unfortunately, this week, uh, Ralph and Curry did pass away. He was around 82. So, kind of sad. So, now on to the figure itself. I'll give you a look at the figure. I just put him on my glass bagging stand, but very cool. I was so excited to get this figure. Those of you who don't know about Death Malik, he was a Sith Lord during the Old Republic. And he was one of the most famous ones because during a battle with his master Darth Revan, he actually had an incident where the uh, lower half of his jaw was cut off. So now he has cybernetic implants in his like, back of his throat up so he can actually speak. Uh, accessories wise, he comes with a deactivated lightsaber, which I don't know why you, they'd include it because there is no clip to put it on. Very cool. And I was surprised. They said, oh, comes a collector's coin. I think it'll also be one of those like, little plastic coins that you give out a birth like a pirate birthday party. And this is actually a metal coin, so I'm very excited about this. I have a nice picture of Darth Malak. You can see the reflection. See. Trying to give a, a view that doesn't show reflections. Okay. Darth Malak, expanded universe in the back. Tell me, I don't know what the symbol is. I, I want to say it's the symbol of the Sith of the Expanded Universe. I'm not sure. The top says Star Wars Expanded Universe. It says 1977, 2007. For that was when 2007 was when the Star Wars figures of this line came out. Now on to the figure. I'll give you a rundown of its articulation. He has a swivel head, swivel neck. Balls and shoulders, the old swivel elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, swivel hips, um, ball hinge knees, and nothing below the knees. He has no ankle articulation. He does come with a lit lightsaber, which is very well detailed. And he does come with his signature chin thingamabob, a uh, chin shield, chin apparatus I don't know I just call it his robotic chin but he actually I'm going to show you that first and I'll show you his cape which I kind of find cool you see he has his chin thing I guess and there's like a little space in the back You can that's actually to remove I do I put my nails in the back and I pull from the front back pull it off and you see you have him pretty much bald nothing on him and then you turn it around, and you have what remains of his mouth. You can see, if you look, he has a little bit of jawbone, 
Put them on the top. You can see a little cybernetic chip in the back. Very cool. Kind of creeped out my parents a little. They're like, what? So. He actually does have more like a side cape. You can see on one shoulder he has it all the way over, and on the other side he doesn't. Very cool. I got this for only 10 bucks, which is a amazing deal. For on Amazon, he goes for about $35. And his Master Darth Raven goes for even more. He goes for around $60, $70. So, I've always wanted to get this figure, but, you know, I didn't have the money. I'm like, it's $30 for just a figure? I just kind of gave up on it. And then I saw him today. I'm like, okay, I'm getting him today. So, yeah. So, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And please, once again, tell me what the symbol is. Please, I really want to know that I'm accurate with my information. So, 50 Master Jedi, may the force be with you.